Hello, war fighters. War is hell. Welcome to episode four of the series where we're taking a look at what would happen in a second Falklands War. Before we get too deep into this mission, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the briefing for this one. So this is how territory was kind of mapped out here in the last episode. You can see Argentina was really growing in its uh, influence on the islands. But now you can see we occupy a large portion of the East Falkland Islands. So Argentina's objective is still taking out uh, the Royal Air Force Air Base at Mount Pleasant. For this episode, we've identified a canyon which allows us to be able to get on the western portion of the British lines undetected. If we could stay underneath uh, radar detection, which I'm say setting that ceiling at 100 meters. If we can get through this canyon, uh, we could get me and seven other aircraft just right on top of the British position and hopefully weaken those lines for a main thrust that would allow us to be able to encircle uh, RAF Mount Pleasant. So as I'm now in the canyon, I'm taking a look at the altimeter, which is on the top left. Remember, 100 meters is the limit for me. Otherwise, if I go above that, SAMs might open up on me. Oh, I got to 97 meters, but I'm still underneath that 100 meter limit. So I'm now out of the canyon, and we're going to head over to a canyon that's perpendicular to ours. And on the other side of that canyon is where the British lines are. Uh, as you can see, with this canyon that's now in front of me, having to go down and up that would leave our forces really exposed. So it's important that I take these guys out right here, and then we can just flood a whole bunch of troops through this. Now, I'm calling out everything that I see in this position. You can see there's tanks, cars, MRAPs, and I'm already getting some fire coming my way even though I haven't shot anything. So this might be a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated. I'm going to have to be very careful uh, as my approach vector and how I kind of get out of it after I've finished my attack run. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn right. I'm going to use that hill for cover as I kind of make my turn. And it looks like already the guys behind me have taken some of the intelligence I provided them, have acted on it. You can see there's already some smoke that's shining over there and I can see the flight of the other aircraft right in front of me too. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this target. I'm gonna fire one missile at it. And I'll take it out so I've already contributed so far. I can see some infantry down there as well. Gotta be careful I don't run into my own aircraft. But they should break up at any second and start attacking independently. Just in case though, so I'm gonna be assigning them some targets like I can see uh, there's some armor down there. I'm going to make sure that they attack that armor because I think that's probably going to be the greatest risk to us. Ooh, I'm taking some fire right there. I might have to come around and try and take out that jackal here. I might dip down into this little canal here. It might make it a lot tougher for the enemy to be able to hit me if I'm this low to the ground. I'm not taking any more fire. I might also be out of range too. Some of those vehicles just have uh, 50 cows mounted on them, and it would be very difficult for any human to be able to hit me at this type of range. All right, firing again. Missile's on its way, but it ends up missing. I don't know. It still looks like it's on fire, but it wasn't a direct hit on the target. Now, on these aircraft, or in this aircraft that I'm flying here, I don't have any more air to ground missiles like that uh, nothing that's guided the only thing I've got left is some rockets and I've also got of course my gun on this as well all right so I've gone ahead switch to rockets 32 of them I still want to be somewhat careful because I don't know how well everybody else has been doing yeah there's some infantry to go with them there we go took that one out so even though I might not have gotten it at first, I'm kind of able to make up for it. Used four rockets, it looks like, on that one, too. Now, this line is pretty spread out, too. So I don't think I'll be able to get absolutely everybody that's over here. I'm going to just have to keep making runs over these positions. And having taken out a number of the armored vehicles so far... I'm a lot safer here at this point. You can see just how many smoke plumes there are. Let's kind of go a little bit at a time, look at everything. Like, There's uh, some infantry down there. 
launch a couple rockets at them to take them out. Whoop, that was a close call. We don't have anybody, of course, to be able to coordinate our attack, so we're kind of all going free-for-all at this point. Oh, there's someone else running down there. He's down. So these strafing runs will be absolutely critical. How everybody else ends up going with it, too, at this point, I think will kind of be important. We might have lost eight. Uh, I'm not seeing really any damage to anybody else at this point. So, so far, we've only lost one vehicle, or one aircraft, excuse me. Now, I'm just looking at what smoke plumes aren't there yet versus vehicles. Oh, there's a lot of infantry down here. That took a number of them out. Man, we're really rocking it here in this aircraft today. I was hoping it was going to be this good. You know, this is one of the things I really wish Arma would kind of improve upon a little bit. and allow us to do some more is uh, more stuff in aircraft, like... Air-to-air -air combat, that'd be kind of cool if played a bigger role in Arma. Because, personally, I love this type of stuff. Got 20 rockets left to go, so I've still got plenty of runs that I can do on this position. It looks like... Yeah, there's one vehicle over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to necessarily hit him yet. Oh, and he might actually have been taken out now that I look at it. Now, some of these runs that I'm doing, as you can tell, aren't necessarily to be able to destroy enemy, but it's to provide some recon that allow me to know how best to destroy the enemy here in a little bit. Now, I've gone through, you know, a little bit of my fuel thus far. I have to be very careful about how much fuel that I have to end up using. Uh, even though we do have uh, the Stanley Airport, it is, of course, well within range of the British at RAF Mount Pleasant. And so what I'm wanting to do is to launch my aircraft from the mainland. Up, oh, got him. Four rockets, unfortunately, for two infantry. But no, we're still taking off and running our sorties out of the mainland. So it takes a while for us to be able to get here and then to be able to get back, of course, as well. So usually our attacks have to be relatively quick. We go in with a predetermined target. We hit. We can't linger too long. But then we have to end up running back. Uh, it makes us safer, though, since we're basically out of the reach of the British. I mean, they could try and attack us with their Eurofighters. Oh, lots of infantry down here. But the one thing about uh, Argentina that gives us an advantage is we've got a severe blanket or a heavy blanket of Samson other anti-air weapons that would prevent a direct attack on the country. British only have four Eurofighters, too, on the Falklands. So losing one of them, uh, that would be a huge blow. 25% of their force just by losing one. Still see some more down here. Three are kind of roaming around. I took at least one out on that one. It is kind of tough to tell. Be able to see infantry at this speed and altitude above them. But you may have noticed... We have gotten no return fire in quite a while. I think all the vehicles have been taken out. Now it's just a matter of taking out just the little infantry that are along the way. Now, because of this assault, I would not be surprised if we saw the British try and counter us here with some aircraft of their own. The tough thing... There we go. Now we took them out. The tough thing about this, though, is we are, um, I mean, their aircraft are going to be better than ours. We would be at a severe disadvantage if I had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those Eurofighters. Whether or not they'll risk it kind of remains to be seen. The, the aircraft, the British aircraft, at least on Mount Pleasant, has really seen a lot of action since uh, Argentina invaded, specifically since... They're basically the only combat aircraft the British have on the island. They've been running sortie after sortie since this has started. So a lot of pressure on the pilots. It means they're going to make mistakes. They're probably very tired at this point. But with something as significant as an attack like this on their lines is going to have to require some type of response. I mean, to be honest, if we don't see the British kind of come after us, we may run some more attacks like this. Granted, 
there aren't too many canyons that we can go through to be able to get to positions like this on the island. But they do exist. And we'll exploit it and kind of rely more on air power than anything else. Alright, now it's just a matter of hitting single guys along the way. That patch looks to be completely cleared. I'm going to go ahead and come around yet again. You can see some of my guys are still strafing too. Yeah, I do wonder if 8 was shot down. It's really the only thing I can think of. He might still be alive like he parachuted out. Because he still shows up down there, but... I don't know. Now, taking out as many APCs and armor that we did over here, I mean, this is definitely going to hurt the British. This is a high concentration over here. They're definitely trying to hold the entire line and try not to get surrounded necessarily. Remember, the objective of the British right now isn't really to be able to repel an entire, an, an entire assault. It would be very difficult to do so far away uh, from the British islands. With Argentina being so close, you know, they can put more people on the islands quicker. And so really the point of the British right now is to just slow up Argentina until reinforcements are able to arrive. We're looking good. I mean, overall, I'm going to call this one a successful mission. So now for us, we're starting to get a call on the radar or on the, the radio here that we've got British incoming. We've got a fast mover. So I'm looking on my radar. And I'm starting to see. Yep, there's one now. One aircraft. It's listed as hostile, so I'm going to go try and intercept it. Now, I've got a couple short-range air-to-air missiles on this. The British are going to have the advantage, remember, when it comes to air power. But I have to be very careful about how I get up on this, too. Uh, I've got seven aircraft with me. Wow, only one Eurofighter is showing up here right now. Okay, so it's seven on one at this point. Once they realize that, it'll be interesting to see if they end up putting up a fight or if they're going to go ahead and head out of here. Now, since they're only on my radar, I haven't been able to get a visual on the British aircraft. I don't know what altitude that they're flying at or anything, so it's going to be tough for me to target this aircraft. Once I do, though, it'll be easier for me to track it, kind of move around with it, because, yeah, right now I'm just trying to get eyes on it so I can target it. Got somebody with me at my 4 o'clock. Oh, there he is. He's up there. All right, now I've got eyes on him. Should be able to target him here. Just a little bit. Come on. Target. Dang it. There he is. All right. Now, just a little bit. I'm going to fire. Ah, countermeasures ended up working. All right, I'm right behind him now. Fire again. Ah, another one. I'm already out of missiles. I'm going to have to switch to guns and see if I can get in a good position on this guy. But, ah, oh, dang it. Man, he outmaneuvered me right there. I'm not going to be able to stay around here for too much longer. Now, it looks like he's bugging out. I mean, once he sees how outnumbered he is, he doesn't even have enough missiles to be able to take us out. Yeah, he's quicker than I am, too. He'll be able to outrun all of us. All right, well, we weren't able to intercept him. But on the bright side, we were at least able to 
Really smashed the British lines right there. Be able to take them out. So that should make it easier for our ground forces to get in there and hopefully set up uh, the next part here, which is going to be the assault on Mount Pleasant. So thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to see the assault on Mount Pleasant, which should be happening next. Uh, remember, guys, war is hell. But you don't have to worry because war fighters, I've got your six.